When replacing a Ground Control 3 LCD touchpad controller, the first step to take is to remove your jack and hall effect harnesses. This process will be the same for a 4-point and 6-point system, with the only difference here being that the 6-point system has two more jacks and harnesses to swap over. After the jack harnesses are removed, remove the rear sensor harness and LCD touchpad harness. Finally, disconnect the power and ground wires to the controller. Be sure to cap the power or ground wire to ensure that they do not short into each other. With all the wires disconnected, remove the four screws securing the controller to the roof of the compartment. Take note of the orientation of the controller as a replacement controller should match it. Install the new controller in the same location as the previous one. Be sure to check that the arrow is facing towards the front of the unit and that the controller is properly secured. When securing the controller, be cautious of stripping out any of the holes as this could cause the controller to become loose later on. Once the new controller is secured in place, Connect your power and ground wires to the controller. Once the power and ground wires have been resecured, reconnect the LCD touchpad harness and rear sensor harness. To ensure that each jack harness is connected to the correct location, start with the jacks on the right side and place each one with the port matching the label on the jack harness. This will work best if you already check the labels before disconnecting early on. Once the right side is reconnected, continue with the left side harnesses following the same pattern. 